Welcome back everyone. Let's go ahead and talk about and discuss and compare the M1 iPad Pro and the iPad Pro third generation from 2018. Now I will tell you as I always state if you have all the money in the world getting the most expensive iPad you can get for the money is the best way and that happens to be the M1 iPad Pro but the 2018 iPad is you know there are a lot of similarities between these two so if you want to pick up either or, links will be down in the description. You can get them from there and help support the channel at the same time. Now, starting off with the front, they essentially almost look exactly the same when you're looking at them on the front. Now, I'm not going to say that's you know the case for the screens, but the bezel, the face ID, everything on the front is almost identically the same. So that is a pretty big thing to keep in mind. Now, on top of that, the display, from what I've heard, from what I've seen, it looks like the you know M1 iPad Pro display is better looking and you know higher brightness, all that stuff. So that's kind of a big thing to keep in mind. You have 120 hertz panels on both, so that's a really good thing. But one is a liquid retina on the M1 iPad. The iPad Pro third gen is like I'm gonna be honest. I'm looking at them; they look exactly the same to be honest. But maybe the M1 iPad Pro is better on the bottom. USB Type C ports on both. The M1 iPad Pro does have that Thunderbolt port, which I think is really cool. I think it's a long overdue though. I'm surprised the iPad Pro third gen didn't have one because they're essentially almost the same thing to be honest on the bottom, but you can connect a third party display, a Thunderbolt display to your M1 iPad Pro, which is really awesome. And on the back, aluminum backs, they both have flat sides. They both feel roughly around the same. They look kind of the same too, but you can see the camera setup is really the main differentiating factor in terms of when you look on the back. When you feel them both, one doesn't feel way more heavier or way more expensive than the other one. They are almost roughly in the same ballpark, which again is a pretty big thing to keep in mind. On top of this, like I always say, when you have both, you're really not going to notice that big of a difference. And the camera is the one area where both of these are, you know, you where you can tell immediately one is the third gen and one is the M1 iPad Pro. So since we're already on the cameras, let's go ahead and talk about it. So the M1 iPad Pro has that dual camera setup with an additional LiDAR sensor. So a 12 megapixel wide. 10 megapixel ultra wide than that lidar sensor where the ipad pro third gen only had a 12 megapixel standard lens now both are very good cameras don't get me wrong i filmed a video or two on my ipad pro third gen which was basically for my battery comparisons for the iphone 12s i think like a couple months ago and it did a pretty good job like that was the first time i used my ipad pro third gen for like an actual camera i was actually going to put in the video and it did a pretty decent job it was very low light condition the ipad pro the m1 is a very good camera. It's almost the same. It's like if the iPhone XR and the iPhone 11 had a baby, it would be something along the lines of those cameras. Because that ultra wide sensor isn't the highest megapixel count, like it's just a little bit lower than an iPhone 12, that's kind of where I put it. But it's a very good sensor, and you have a LiDAR sensor as well. Like it's a very good camera. You can do 4K at 60 on both. And there really isn't one reason why I would go from one camera to the other, to be completely honest. I like having that studio quality mic on the M1 iPad Pro. That is a pretty big differentiating factor, but I still think the iPad Pro third gen is a very good iPad in terms of that camera. But the bigger difference is probably in the front camera. You do get a you know 12 megapixel lens on the M1 iPad, where the third gen you only get a 7 megapixel camera. Now, what does that mean? Technically, you can do 1080p at 60 on the newer iPad, which is awesome, but on top of that, that camera is an ultra wide sensor, so you can get more into a frame. Essentially, it's the same thing on the back to the front, probably not to that degree, but a big thing about that camera camera is the new face tracking feature. So if you're in a video call, if you're on FaceTime or whatever, you can actually go ahead and have that specific camera track you via software, which is a really awesome, cool little thing. So that in and of itself is a pretty big thing about that camera. And it's definitely a huge improvement in my opinion. So in terms of the camera setup, huge plus for the M1 iPad Pro, the standard third gen is still really good, but that M1 iPad is definitely a big improvement for sure. Now, another pretty big difference, if I'm going to be honest, in terms of the longevity of both is, you know, which iPad is going to have the longer software version. From what I'm seeing and from what I'm hearing and just from what I'm seeing off the spec sheet and in my real life use, the M1 iPad Pro is definitely going to outlast the standard iPad Pro third gen, any model of the third gen, even the fourth gen iPad. Now it makes sense because, oh, because the iPad is the newer one, the M1, so it's going to last longer, but the chipset inside, there's such a ginormous difference between them that it's just like a crazy amount of difference. You know, the third gen iPad had the same chipset as essentially like an iPhone 10s with a little bit more power to it. It may last just as long as an iPhone 11, but the M1 iPad Pro, like we really don't know how long these things are going to last because we don't have any other chipset that's comparable. Like with the A series, we've already, we've always been like, okay, we know it's going to get a certain amount of years of updates with the M series. We really, I mean, we have an idea. It's probably going to be around the same, but who knows? Maybe they could extend it twice as long. You know, we don't really know. 
So that's a pretty big thing to keep in mind, but I'm going to say regardless, I think, you know, both iPads are still going to last for quite a bit of time, but that M1 iPad Pro is definitely going to be the one that I would keep my eye out for, and it would probably end up being the iPad that I would want to buy just because of the, you know, the longevity of it. So take it as you will, but that's that aspect. Surprisingly though, in my opinion, the battery life is better on the iPad Pro, the M1 chip, but I did see that the iPad Pro, the third gen actually has a bigger battery based on the spec sheets. Now they're only like within a three 300 million power difference and they're like 7,000 million power batteries so there's not that big of a difference to be honest but I did find the M1 iPad Pro to actually give me better battery life I think this also has to do with like depreciation my third gen iPad Pro has not been doing well on battery if I'm being honest since like iOS 14 iPad OS 14 it hasn't really been doing well which is pretty sad but that essentially covers it up in those aspects now I guess we can go ahead and end it off with the performance and hopefully I did a speed comparison so I can go ahead and talk it over while I'm doing the speed comparison I probably didn't though now we do have obviously on the iPad Pro 3rd gen at the Apple A12X Bionic chip with a couple different models, 4 gigs of RAM on their base model, and it does go all the way up to 6 gigs of RAM. So I think that's actually a pretty good thing, you know, for a couple year old iPad. The M1 iPad though starts off at an 8 gig RAM option and it goes up to a 16 gig RAM option. That's an insane amount of RAM to have on an iPad. Now, in my opinion, these iPad Pros are so much more tailored to Pros users and are essentially almost just like a MacBook. The only differentiating factor between these M1 iPads and a MacBook is the software. The performance is probably roughly going to be around the same. They have the same chipset and the same amount of RAM variations. Before that wasn't the case. Now that is the case. So who knows what's going to happen in my opinion. I'm pretty sure, you know, at some point Mac OS is going to come or there's going to be some hybrid of the two. But that's an insane thing. So performance wise, the iPad Pro 3rd gen has always been pretty good. I've always liked that performance. It was never perfect, but it's a really good performing machine. And I think the more so than the performance of this thing, the iPad Pro 3rd gen, it was a, a big visual change. You know, I was really happy to see the flat sides and actually to see, you know, the bezel is almost designed. That was a pretty big improvement. The M1 iPad Pro definitely improves on this. I've been showcasing time and time again that the M1 chip is very fast. It's just as fast, in my opinion, as the A14 chip. So I don't think it's faster than the A14 chip, but I think the biggest improvement is that RAM option. So you are getting a faster machine than the iPad Pro 3rd gen, but the biggest difference is that RAM. I mean, you're getting twice the amount of RAM depending on the version that you're getting. And even the base model of the iPad Pro, you know, with the M1 chip has more RAM than the top tier model of the third gen iPad just from a couple years ago. So that's a really big improvement and I'm actually really happy to see that. So when it comes down to that, you know, humongous plus, that's a big advantage of the M1 iPad Pro. So when it comes down to that, thumbs up from the iPad Pro for sure. And to kind of sum up this video and to answer the question, which iPad should you get? Should you get the third gen, the M1 chip? I'm going to tell you without a doubt, I think for sure the M1 iPad Pro iPad is probably the better one to pick up. You know, it just makes way more sense. Yes, it's a little bit more expensive, but it is the one that has more of a future. You know, I think at the same time, the iPad Pro is a very solid option but I still think the third gen iPad Pro is a very solid option. I think, you know, it's a very good iPad. It's definitely not perfect. You know, like I said, this is the main iPad. This is the newest iPad that I have, the third gen. And I, I liked it. I think there's just some issues with the battery. I just don't think it's as great as something even like my iPad 8th generation, which is so crazy. I don't know why that's the case. Maybe I should disable promotion or something. But I would love to see a point where these iPad, you know, for both of these to have the same battery life as my M1 MacBook. I think this has a lot to do with promotion and obviously if you connect an Apple Pencil, which I do, that does suck up a little bit of battery life here and there. But I think over time, if Apple can just focus in on the battery life of these iPads, that would be an, an awesome thing for sure and I would really like that. But when it comes down to both of these, the M1 iPad Pro is definitely the far better option. The chipset alone is a humongous improvement, but that RAM, that's something I'm not hearing a lot of people talk about. That RAM ability to having that 16 gig of RAM option, that is a massive improvement. We are on the same spec line as something like a MacBook, and that really hasn't happened too often. That's never happened before. All the other MacBooks had Intel chipsets. These ones now have the same chipsets as MacBooks. So the possibilities are endless. I'm really excited to see what happens, but that essentially covers up this little comparison. If you guys have any other questions or anything, let me know in the comment section as well. Hit the like button, that would mean so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. Every single subscriber that we get really does count. So me so much if you guys get hit that. Also check out the other links down in the description as well. My Twitter, my Instagram, my other channels. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out till then.